I don't even know. I was never told if it was good or bad or what. I was just. Do we want to mute ourselves first? If we, did you hit live? Yeah, I hit live. I should probably mute ourselves first, just in case. We want to catch any. Good afternoon and welcome to the Fresno Center on the campus of Central Christian College of the Bible. Today's uh, first game features the Crusaders from Great Lakes Christian College and your Central Christian College of the Bible Lady Saints. Yeah. Before we get started, if you would please stand for a word of prayer given by Caleb Nolan, followed by the playing of our national anthem. Would you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for this day that you have blessed us with. And God, I just thank you that Great Lakes was able to get here safely, and I ask that you uh, deliver them home as well after the game. God, I just ask that this game would be played in your name and that the uh, players and refs and just everybody involved uh, remembers the love of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you for all the grace and mercy that you give us every day. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now let's meet your starting lineups. First for the visiting Crusaders, number one, Mackenzie Mondi. Number three, Randy Fitzgerald. Number 13, Leah Yanko. Number 24, Sakura Nakano. And number 32, Mackenzie Kent. And now, the starting lineup for your CCCV Saints at guard, a 5'6 freshman from Fairfield, Missouri, number three, Luna. A forward, a 6' foot freshman from Elk River, Minnesota, number 12, Claire Van Tomey. A guard, a 5'7 sophomore from Kirksville, Missouri, number 21, Rachel Darling. A guard, a 5'9 freshman from Oak Valley, Illinois, number 21, Harmony Tard. Yeah. And finally, a center, a 5'10 senior from Climax City, Illinois, number 44, Rhea Brady. Woo. The Saints are led by head coach Corey Zarzuzzi and assistant coaches Tristan Jeffrey and Alan Marchburg. Let's play some basketball. All right, good afternoon, and welcome to this afternoon's broadcast of the Lady Saints basketball. They will be playing the Crusaders. As we get ready for this tip-off, Claire Van Tomey is ready, lined up against number 32, 
McKenzie. McKenzie Kent. And Van Tomey wins it. Uh, Savannah Luna now has control of the ball for the Saints. Luna and Ray Brady matching shoes early on. Looking good. It's looking like a cohesive unit out there. Harmony Tart has the ball. Getting it to Luna. Luna going to go down to Van Tomey. Loses it. Gets it right back. Put it to Brady. Up and no good. Rebounded back by Brady. No good. Rebound. Finds the hands of Harmony Great Tart. Great tip by Brady. Harmony Tart's going to put it right back up. No good. And it is going to go out of bounds on the Crusaders off the hands of number one, McKenzie Mondi. Those Saints are, still in control. Those are some great looks by the Saints early. Nice passes, getting in where it needs to go. Good tip outs. As Savannah Luna passes it into Claire Van Tomey, who gets fouled on the shot. Basket is no good, but Claire will go to the line for two. First one goes in. Claire shooting... 57% from the free throw line this season. She's, uh, well, now she's 14 for 24. Let's see about the second. Second, no good, but rebound goes to Rhea Brady. Great offensive boards early for this, these Saints. Savannah Luna loses it, still has control. Rhea making some good tips, even getting the tip out to her teammates or keeping it herself, allowing the Saints to stay on this offensive possession. Harmony Tart drives in with eight seconds on the clock. Shot clock, no good rebound again by Brady. And the ref is going to call a jump ball. So that means it will be Great Lakes possession, their first possession of the game uh, with, we are 49 seconds in. Man, that is four offensive rebounds, counting the tip off. So technically not, technically three, but Ray Brady involved in four offensive rebounds so early on in this game. Not sure about that jump ball, though. Seems like she got fouled going up, but ref's going to call it. Leah Yanko giving it to Mondi, who gets it uh, into the corner to Nakano. Mm, another Shot rebound. is no good, and another rebound by Rhea Brady. Saints going to defensive rebound. Saints going to sit in that two-three defense, force them to shoot the ball. See what they can make happen early on. Savannah Luna in control gets it stripped by Mondi, who's going to kick it to Fitzgerald. Layup shot, no good. Rebounded to the hands of Van Tomey, who loses it. And Mondi shot up, no good. Rebound to Fitzgerald. Saints just controlling the glass early. Unfortunate that Van Tomey kind of just handed it off to the defense there. Nakano making some quick zip passes. Long two for the Crusaders, no good. And rebound went to Van Tomey, who got fouled. And so it'll stay Saints ball. Or it'll be Saints ball now, excuse me. Claire had that rebound. I think she was looking to use her height there more. You kind of want to see a jump. Any, any rebound, no matter how tall you are, you kind of want to jump for it. Just get a few extra inches. Savannah Luna running the offense, getting it to Harmony Tart. Van Tomey in the corner who's going to find the cutting Tart, who's going to get in drive, and the shot is good. That was a nice possession there. Good read. It takes a lot of chemistry to make a pass like that. First field goal make of uh, the Saints, well, both teams rather, for the game as Leah Yanko shoots the three, and it is good, tying the oh. game quickly is Leah. Savannah Luna bringing the ball up for the Saints. Throws it, gets swatted out of bounds by Fitzgerald. So Co it'll stay Saints ball. Coaches preach it, fake a pass and make a pass, or at least don't telegraph your pass as you're going down the court. We're gonna stay Saints ball. Army Tart looks to pass into Savannah Luna. Savannah Luna's gonna take it back half court and she's gonna set up a slow offense for the Saints. Saints are going with a four-out look. Uh, they have two post players. Last game, last home game, they were really looking at that X offense, bringing high-low both, but they're going to bring Van Tomey out to the corner today, uh, keep Rhea Brady inside doing her work. <laughs> Nobody has the ball coming <laughs> rolled off to the corner as uh, <laughs> as the Cano goes and gets it. A uh, little bit of a pass just went out of bounds by the Crusaders. Uh, Savannah Luna inbounding it to Darling. Darling tries to get it to Tart, and uh, ref calling it out of bounds on Harmony. Nakano going to lead this Crusaders offense. Mondi with it for the Crusaders. Going to pass it down to Fitzgerald, who's getting swarmed by some Saints. 
Leah Yanko now has possession of it, finds Monty who shoots the three. Up and Ooh. in for the Crusaders. Crusaders looking good from that three-point line. They missed their first one early, but then capitalized by making two in a row to take this lead. A couple things to note. Savannah Luna has been the one who's taken the ball out of bounds on a made basket, and uh, seemingly there has to be a teammate turned around at any time as Claire Van Tomey's shot is no good. Now Mondi is just going to drive, throw it up, no good. Rebound to number 31. Shea Greer, who was subbed in uh, very early on in this game. She came in for Mackenzie Kent. I'm going to be honest, I don't think Shea got fouled there, but the first one, first shot attempt was definitely a foul. I think that was a little bit of a makeup call. And substitution for the Saints. Macy Crutchfield coming in for Rhea Brady as Greer goes to the line to try and complete the end one play. Saints missing one of their leading shot takers and scores today with Lexi Wisenhand on the bench with... I didn't figure out, is it a broken finger, dislocated finger? I know there's some ligament damage potentially. I believe she, she uh, suffered a broken finger nine seconds into their last home game as uh, Harmony Tar has control of the ball for the Saints, gets it to Rachel Darling. It's going to pass back to Harmony. Harmony's going to drive, pull up a shot. No good rebound by Van Tomey. Oh, and the putback is just short. People fumbling for the ball, and Van Tomey's shot again is no good. This time rebounded by the Crusaders. And picked off by Harmony Tart. Harmony Tart getting it right back after the last good look. Claire has been just right there at the basket, unable to finish down low. Ooh. And Macy Crutchfield's pass, a, a lob pass, is uh, picked off by the Crusaders, number 13, Yanko. As she steps up into a three, and she is... Hits another one. And she has just been too comfortable early on in this game. Saints are going to have to get up and play a little more pressure defense to just not allow anything like that to happen. And going a uh, Saints 30-second timeout is the Saints trail by nine. All right, coming out of the 30-second timeout, it will be Saints ball. Luna's going to inbound it to Tarmany Tart. As Saints, again, are trailing by nine with uh, about five and a half minutes left in this first quarter of action. Saints look like they're going to start off so hot with Rhea Brady coming out and getting a lot of offensive rebounds early on. Saints just got to be able to capitalize on these offensive possessions. Saints moving the ball around, and it gets poked away from Luna, but finds the hands of Tart, who's going to pull up a shot, and good. Ooh. That was a deep hero step. That hero step started at the free throw line, but a nice finish by Tart. And the shot is up and no good by uh, Shea Greer. That was a great box out by Darling down in the corner. Make sure her teammate gets the ball. And Savannah Luna takes the three shot and no, misses everything, and it will go out of bounds. And it will be Crusaders ball. One thing you can't, one thing you can't do is get too, uh, get too out of place in those shots. You can't get too hyped. you got to stay calm, know your possessions, know your plays, run them through, trust the coach and what she calls. And Mondi will take a three-pointer and another bam, splash bam, for bam, the Crusaders. Bam. Four threes for the Saints early on. That is all their – might be five threes. That's all their points so far. Uh, they had an and one mm, play, so that was a – so they have hit four threes and then had that and one. So all three-point plays. <laughs> Saints are probably going to have to start considering getting out of that 2-3 defense. Maybe get into a man-to-man. -man, maybe consider a 1-3-1. As Harmony Tart pulled up for the mid-range shot and was fouled, and she will go to the line for two. And substitution for the Saints, Makaria Hines coming in for Savannah Luna and, and Rhea Brady is uh, coming in for Harmony after she shoots these free throws. Harmony hits her first. One. 
And Tart goes two for two from the free throw line as Brady will come in for her and substitution for the Crusaders. Mackenzie Kent, who started this game, is now coming back into the game for Shea Greer. Uh, Crusaders with the ball, Nakano bringing it up for them. Passes it to Monty, thought about the three. Nakano doing some great passing, doesn't even want to take any shots. I mean, if I was the uh, Crusaders, I would be not passing up any three. As Leah Yanko takes another three, this one no good. Rebound by McKenzie Kent and gets it to number one, Mondi. Nakano with some very efficient passes here. She will take her three. No good, and it will go out of bounds, so it'll be the Fair Saints ball. ball. That's good. He checks. No one's coming back for the Saints. Here comes that Rachel. That is, again, that has happened, this is, I believe, the fourth time that that has happened now. Uh, all the Saints, except the person inbounding the ball, is on the other end. But Makaria Hines with possession. That is get so different than what you would think. You would want the ball in your hand. I'm a post player, and I'm going to stay down and see if I can get that ball in my hand. Ray Brady has control of it. Oh. <laughs> nice over zip pass to the corner. Finds Rachel Darling, who shot us up no good. Rebound again by Brady. He's going to put it right back up and in. She is strong on the glass early on in this game. Crusaders with possession. Mondi going to pass it to Fitzgerald. That was a good stop by the Saints early on up top. And <laughs> McKenzie Kent working in her post. And again, again, the Saints, they're all running down to the other end. Uh, but Macaria Hines has possession of it, of the ball. Hines Getting you it to, to watch that dribble. And Van Tomey trying to squeeze it in between three Crusaders to no avail as Nakano finds the driving Fitzgerald who and gets one. it and one. That was just an unfortunate pass situation there. Kind of fake. You, you fake the pass, but you threw to where you faked. You want to look to skip after you shift everyone over there. The foul's on number 12, Van Tomey, her second of the contest as Randy Fitzgerald will go to the line for one. And she hits it. Someone's got to inbound the ball. As McCarney Hines is going to inbound it to Rachel Darling. I think the Saints have a system that they want to run, but after a free throw, if whoever gets the ball, you got to run it out. You got to go fast. Don't let your defense give them time to set up. Good pass by Hines. Hines. And one for Rhea Brady. Brady being a force early on in this game. And again, a great find by Makaria Hines. This is a good look for Brady after not getting too many minutes in the last home game. She didn't come in until the second half, right? Yeah. Early. And so. Great look for her coming out strong on the glass and the paint, scoring points. And Brady completes Smooth. the and one play to cut the Crusaders' lead to eight as Mackenzie Mondi brings it up for the Crusaders. Gets oh, she's up that. Nakano, yep. who was out of bounds. She was uh, well out of bounds there. It's that negative step that I keep talking about over the broadcast. Just players, it's natural. I, I think coaches don't like the negative step. You just got to be careful with it because it is natural. You step back to go forward so you can shift your momentum. Quick substitution that just happened for the Saints. Harmony Tart coming back in for Claire Van Tomey. Now Macari Hines with the ball, running it around the top of the – gives it to Darling. Saints just staying in this Horns offense here. Post players not going anywhere, just staying up, setting screens, moving the ball. Saints got to get a paint touch at some point. Get it to Brady in the paint. She's getting swarmed by two Crusaders and – she will ultimately lose it. Ball is in the hands of Mondi, slowing it down. Has Gets it to Nakano, back to Mondi, who is going to drive on Rhea Brady. Shot is no good, rebounded by Crutchfield. Saints so staying in this Horns offense. As uh, Hines gets it to Tart in the corner, who's going to throw it to Crutchfield. Um, Saints tr trying to get it somewhere. Rachel Darling's going to drive and get the shot or block swatted, but she gets it back. As Macy Crutchfield's going to step into the mid-range. No good rebound by Darling. Back to Hines, and they're going to reset their offense with good a fresh choice. clock. Good choice by Hines. Harmony Tart with the ball is going to drive, and she's going to put it up. No good. Rebounded by Nakano. Nakano going straight down the court, wasting no time dribbling in and out. She made a no-look pass that was just off the fingertips of 
Randy Fitzgerald, and it sailed out of bounds. I mean, that pass looked really good, but if you were passing to Claire Van Tomey, <laughs> someone else that's pushing that six-foot line or that can just jump out of the gym. That was a very nice pass, just too high. And a substitution for the Saints, Macy Wisenand coming in for Rachel Darling as she gets a breather. Mackenzie Kent giving no breathing room for Brady down in the post. Wherever she goes, Kent is following. Uh, Macy Wisenand with it, throws it right to a Crusader, Yanko. Yanko who's going was to reading it to Fitzgerald, who's going to drive in and easy lay for the Crusaders. Yanko was a ball hawk there. Saw it coming, stepped out in front, grabbed that. Make the skip pass down for the layup. 32 seconds left in this half. Shot clock is still on. Saints are going to have to make possession here. As Macy Crutchfield with it, pops the mid-range shot short and finds the hands of McKenzie Kent, who will get it to Yanko. 20 seconds left on the in the first quarter. And another pass out of the hands of Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Uh, not her making the turnover, but the pass was to her. This time was by uh, Leah Yanko, as the Saints have possession now. For Crutchfield, that, down on the other end, that sometimes that's the hardest shot. When you're left wide open, you're expecting some contact, you're expecting someone to close out, and you just had a form shot, typically leave it short or overshoot. Saints with five seconds left, need to get something to go. Macaria High Boom. pulls a corner three just before the buzzer, as the Saints now trail. 15 to 22 going into the second quarter of action, and we will see you there. All right, coming into this second quarter of action, Saint, Saints trail seven, and they have possession of the ball. We got Luna back in for the Saints. Macari Hines running point right now. She's going to get it to Luna, who get it to Macy Wisenand, who's going to take the three. Ooh, no good. Rebound to McKenzie Kent for the Crusaders, and now uh, Mondi with the possession. That was a good look and the right look for Wisenhan there. Just unfortunate she didn't make it. And Mondi will pull the three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Macy Wisenhan. Great box out on number 32, Mackenzie Kent. Difficult box out for her, having just much smaller in stature. Savannah Luna gets it to the cutting Wisenhan, mm. who is going to get called for a travel. It'll be Crusader possession. Yanko inbounding it to Nakano. A little bit of a horn going off. It uh, wasn't nah. intentional, it seemed, but Fitzgerald has it in the corner. Back to Nakano. who's only taken one shot, but she is passing the ball a lot. Mondi with it. Back to Nakano. It's going to fake. Go one way. Nakano did a lot of head fakes there for <laughs> very little movement. She's zipping the ball. Leah Yanko with it. It's going to uh, draw the foul call. I believe it's going to be on yep, number Claire. Well, Claire Van Tommy. She's got to watch her it. third. Very early in this second quarter. Going to have to watch. Her foul is going to have to play a lot less aggressive on defense here. Yanko got to get the ball inbound. She finds Kent. It's going to back to Yanko for a corner three. He's up and no good. Rebounded by Fitzgerald. He's going to put it back up. Uh, no good. Rebounded by the Saints. Savannah Luna with it. She brings it up. So it's got two really good point guards out there for them right now. 
Now Macy Crutchfield with it, trying to find somewhere to go. He's going to drive in and get it to Makaria Hines, who's going to get it down to Van Tomey, who's going to put it up off the bottom of the rim. Uh, tried to poke it free, but still Crusaders ball. Yanko bringing it up. Van Tomey getting a lot of looks early. Just some days you have those times where it's not going to fall. You just got to slow down, take very considerate shot selections, make sure you get one to fall. Once you get one to fall, you're able to start tacking them on. As Nakano took another three, this one no good. Rebounded by the Crusaders now in the hands of Mondi. Back to Nakano who threw right it into the Van paint Tomey. right to Van Tomey. Oh, they are sprinting down. Saints have the ball is going to be uh, maybe a ref's discussion. Yep, well, was swatted off of Macy Wisenan, and it flies out of bounds. So it's Crusaders ball. We got some substitutions. Man. Macy Wisenan and uh, Claire Van Tomey coming out. Rhea Brady and Rachel Darling in for them. Van Tomey was running down the court right behind. That looked like a perfect opportunity for a lob. Hey, <laughs> showtime. Nakano with possession. Again, another fake pass. This time uh, to Greer, who just got subbed in for McKenzie Kent. And her shot, no good. Who else but Brady to get that rebound for the Saints? Rachel Darling with it for the Saints. Get it to Hines. Luna catches the handoff from Hines, trying to go somewhere with it. Monty just playing some excellent defense on Luna. Back to Hines, who pulled, uh, drove in, pulled up mid-range, no good. Rebound by the Crusaders. Yanko with it. She is going to get it down to Fitzgerald, who gets an easy shot up and good. That was a great pass to Fitzgerald. And with that, Coach Z is going to go ahead and take a timeout, talk it over what just happened, see if she can get her Saints head back in it. All right, coming out of this Saints 30-second timeout. Coach still trying to do some uh, coaching on the floor. So, yep, they got to count, so the Saints got to get it in quickly. Ref was not having any of that. Uh, Savannah Luna in control of it for the Saints. She's I don't going, blame them. We got a ball right after yeah. this. We got to get this game going. Leah Yanko picked off the pass from Luna, and she's going to go down and by one. herself and one. The foul is ultimately going to be called on Rachel Darling, who is the trailer there. And another and one opportunity for the Crusaders. Yank I believe this is their third. Yanko and Fitzgerald just both doing excellent work getting to the basket on some cuts and drives. And then they got Mackenzie Kent down there who just really clean everything up, make a strong post move. Saints are in an interesting spot because they started off early making threes, the Crusaders. They stopped making threes and now they packed in the paint. Yanko no good on the free throw. So Saints ball still there. Down by 11. Harmony Tart, who subbed in, drives in. No good rebound by Brady. Going to double her offensive rebounds by the end of this game. And Macy Crutchfield throws it right to McKenzie Mondi, who's going to be wide open for a layup down on the other end. Difficult pass there for the Saints. Led straight to a turnover. Savannah Luna with it to Tart now. Going to give it to Darling. Saints need to get some offense rolling here. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Harmony's going to drive and get it to try to get it to Brady, but the pass again is picked off this time by Greer. And it will be a third pass. Off the fingertips of Fitzgerald. Saints are going to have to figure out a way to capitalize here. They are on a four-minute scoring drought game time. Substitution for the Crusaders, Fitzgerald coming out. And this time coming in for her is Kent. So the Crusaders are having both of their bigs in right now as Saints have possession. Macy Crutchfield with it in the corner, looking for somewhere to go. Finds Harmony Tart, who's going to drive, pull-up shot. No good rebound by Kent. 
as Nakano is going to quickly get it across the half court line and pop a three and it is good for Nakano. Man, that was a heat check and she is on fire. The Crusaders doing an excellent job of daggering from the three point line. You see Mondi over here pushing the direction. She's not picking up early. Luna does not care. She's gonna go the direction that Mondi pushes her and put it in. Luna answering the three from Nakano and now Yanko in possession of the ball. He's gonna get it to Mondi herself who gets it down to Kent who's gonna go to work in the paint. Is up and in. What a great up and under there for Kent. Luna gets the ball past half court. Gets it to Darling. Darling looked like she was ready to go. That back pivot foot was itching to move. A great pass finds uh, Brady led a little bit too much, but Savannah Luna, can she make another? Boom. Another three for Savannah Luna. Moonshot. Feed the hot hand. And now here comes the Crusaders. Nakano again. McKenzie Kent gets it and pops it from the free throw line. No good. Good rebound by Tart. She's just going to take it up herself, push it. Give it to her again. Find Luna. Kick out right now. As Harmony Tart tries to get a scoop shot after a Euro, and that is no good. Rebounded by the Saint or the Crusaders as Mondi gets it to Yanko for a wide open lay. That's a difficult possession to do when you rebound the ball, bring it up yourself, but you don't sprint down the court, give the defense time to set up. You almost want to see a pass there. Give something for your team to set up. Now a full timeout by the Saints. All right, coming out of the Saints timeout, uh, it will be Saints ball. We got Macy Wisnan, Savannah Luna, Rachel Darling, Macy Crutchfield, and Rhea Brady on the court. And a couple substitution for the Crusaders. Number 12, Allie Farrell uh, in, as well as uh, Randy Fitzgerald back in the game as a couple bodies hit the deck. And Macy Wisnan is going to take the three. Boom. It is good. Another moonshot didn't hit anything but the bottom of the net. Look, pure going in. And now Nakano controls for the Crusaders. Saints last three points, or last three shot makes have been threes. Been really good for the Saints. As Nakano is going to drive, but the foul is going to be on the ground, uh, and it's going to be called on Savannah Luna, her first of the contest. As Farrell inbounds it, she finds... Fitzgerald wide open for three in the corner. Yep. No good. Finds the hands of Rachel Darling. Things look like they were just kind of running their play, not reading the floor at all. Luna has possession of it for the Saints. That's not and that. another pass is intercepted, this time by McKenzie Kent, who's going to drive on Macy Wisenand. No good. And But the rebound goes to Randy Fitzgerald, who puts it up and in. This is a poor place to pick up the ball. Kind of, you just get stuck. You get dead. You got to pass it off. Rachel Darling has it for the Saints. Going to get it down to Macy Crutchfield. Back to Darling. Ooh, she thought, thought about, about the three. Didn't want it. Back to Crutchfield. Macy to Macy. And Macy Crutchfield's shot is going to go <laughs> in, rolling off the front of the rim. That is why you put spin on the ball. <laughs> Nakano inbounding the ball, but she'll get it right back. She is the obvious point guard for this team, making some passes just like that. Efficient as Fitzgerald is going to yep. get 
Fouled, a blocking call. Crutchfield had her hand down as soon as she started moving, put her hand on the hip, and they're going to go ahead and call that a blocking foul. I thought it was going to be hand check. but uh, Substitutions for both teams. Saints, Rhea Brady coming out for Harmony Tart, uh, who's coming in, and number one, Mackenzie Moody back in the game. She's coming in for Mackenzie Kent. As Nakano, a nice reverse lay goes in. Nakano sneaky, getting down in front of everyone to put in that reverse lay. Savannah Luna in possession, gets it to Tart. Ooh, Crutchfield's open underneath. And a high pass sails over Macy Crutchfield and will go to the Crusaders. Mondi with it is going to drive, and she's going to throw it out of bounds. I think she thought Fitzgerald was cutting, and she was trying to get it to her, but another pass going out of bounds for the Crusaders. Saints in control of the ball, and the foul count uh, for this quarter at least is 4-0. to zero. Saints have four fouls on them, and uh, the Crusaders have none. Well, Saints have got to look to get the ball in the paint more, cut down these turnovers. They want to start getting more fouls. And it was another turnover, um, but we got a foul here. It's going to be on uh, Rachel Darling, her second of the contest, and now the Crusaders are in the bonus. So number 31, Shea Greer. It's going to go to the line. I believe she's going to be shooting two. Yep, ref says two, so. Greer hits the first. And Greer goes two for two from the line to push the Crusaders lead up to 15 with 1.44 left to go in this half as Luna will bring it up for the Saints. Saints need to really work here in this final minute of the court to just have good possessions and bring this back down to a 10-point game. And another high pass will sail out of bounds. Uh, and it will, So it will be the Crusaders ball as... A substitution, number 31, Greer coming out. And it is uh, Farrell back in the game. Nakano gets it to Mondi. Mondi for three, and it is good. The three-point barrage continues for the Crusaders. We're going to bring the ball up here. Look to see what happened. Tough pass. Good job on Tart getting the ball. And the ball is going to go out of bounds out on the... Crusaders, so it'll stay Saints ball. So he's going to line up in a four low set. Probably going to get some screens here or maybe a back cut. Luna's got to get the ball inbounds. She does to Tart. And Tart is going to drive and put a shot up. No good. Rebound, Crutchfield. And she is going to go do a little run around. Shot up, no good by her. This those, time in possession of the Crusaders. Those are difficult shots there. Good job getting to the rim. Good job being physical. But you want to jump stop there. You want to jump stop, get your ground, maybe get a defender in there, or just go up strong into them. When you go up on a layup, you're going to be off balance. Refs aren't going to call anything. And yeah. Nakano drove in and was passing it out but got tripped up. So a foul call. This one's on Rachel Darling again. Um, but again, the Crusaders are in the bonus, so Nakano will go to the line for two. That is Darling's third also before halftime. Now, I know it's halftime is almost over, but that is just difficult to go into the second half. Two Saints players, two starters for the Saints with already three fouls. Nakano missed her first and Saints hits second. the second. Um, so... With 38 seconds left to go, Luna is going to bring the ball up for the Saints. Saints needing something to be able to hang their hat on going into this half. Hopefully a bucket. Savannah Luna. Get in the weight room. A Come on, Farrell. foul is going to be called on number 12, Farrell. Her and Luna collided, and Farrell hit the deck. So it'll stay Saints ball. Uh, first foul of the quarter for the Crusaders, which is 27 seconds left to go. Harmony Tart has the ball. Ooh, might have been a carry there. The rest are going to let him play. 
Macy Wisenhan now has it back to Luna. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Luna had her uh, opponent jumping, but can take it. Darling with it, three seconds on the shot clock. Got to get something off. And a shot clock violation on the Saints. If you have the ball with four seconds left, whether it's a bad shot or a good shot, you got to shoot. You don't have time to pass that ball unless it is towards the rim where someone can tip it in. And now the Crusaders take possession. Now three seconds left. Nakano passing to Mondi, who pulls the shot. No good. And going into halftime, the Saints will uh, be trailing by 19. Uh, before we leave you at halftime, I want to get a quick shout-out to Great Lakes uh, president, Frank Weller. Janiel says hi. And Janiel also told us to say, to mention that Frank and uh, Coach Tressa have a shirt bet going for into this game. Uh, whoever wins, the other has to wear the school's shirt for a day. So okay. shout out again to the president of GLCC's Frank Weller. And we will see you in the second half.
All second. right, as we are getting ready for the <laughs> second half of action, look, a couple little stats for you. <laughs> Something a little <laughs> tickle your brain, get your fiber optic nerves going, or I don't even know. That's maybe computer talk. Yeah, yeah. Ah, bra that's bra all right. Brain's a flesh computer. That's right. So, okay, a <laughs> couple, couple stats. Right now, the Crusaders are winning the turnover battle 7-15 to against the Saints. However, the Saints are winning the offensive and defensive rebounds. Rhea Brady leading the way with eight rebounds early in that first half of basketball. She's coming out again, starting looking to make something happen. For the Crusaders, Mondi leading in total points with 11, followed closely behind by Yenko and with 10. All right, and to start the second half, the Crusaders control the ball. Yanko now with it. The Crusaders looking to, they have the their starters that they had in um, at the beginning of the game as well as the Saints do. And a pass, a uh, little fumble goes out of bounds, and so it'll be Saints ball. Saints trailing by 19. Um, a lot of turnovers and a lot of miscues, so hoping to limit that. In uh, for the rest of the game uh, as Harmony Tart has the ball for the Saints. Gets it down to Van Tomey, who's going to go to the corner. Rachel Darling is going to get doubled. Finds Luna in the corner, back to Van Tomey. Tart's going to have it, and she is going to drive. Uh, going to be on the floor. On the floor. Some other stats. The Saints looking they, – they're pretty good from three this first half. They are four from six, shooting 66.7%, which is pretty good. It's really good. As Savannah Luna inbounds the ball to Rhea Brady as she goes to work early on in this second half. Those four threes, though, unfortunately were overshadowed by the Crusaders' six, but they are shooting six for 16 at 37%. They are definitely hitting a lot of – shooting a lot of threes as Yanko pulls another – and misses that one, but rebound by the Crusaders. Uh, Nakano in control of it for the Crusaders. She is going to drive, throw it up. Uh, no good, but it's going to be a shooting foul call. And the foul is going to be on Savannah Luna, her second of the contest. Nakano will go to the line for two. The Crusaders were 5 for 7 from free throw in the first half. With that, they are now 6 for 8. And Nakano goes 2 for 2 from the line there. As the Saints go to inbound it and Luna bringing it up. When Tart scanning the floor, they're going to leave her wide open. She's stepped far back from the three-point line. Rhea Brady with it, finds Van Tomey. Van Tomey is going to get sworn by a couple of Crusaders, but gets it. Brady and Van Tomey playing a little bit of catch, but post to post catch from the corner to the post. Ta Harmony Tart has it with four seconds, going to throw it up. No good. Rebound goes to Van Tomey. He's going to put it right back up and in. Uh, Van Tomey got that rebound over her teammate, Rachel Darling, who hit the deck um, <laughs> trying to get that rebound. But, hey, Saints got the board and the bucket. Um, so now the Crusaders have the ball. Mondi drives and kicks. The Connell's going to pull a three. No good. Rebound by Mackenzie Kent, who's going to put it right back up and in. That was unfortunate for Rachel. Rachel Darling jumped just a couple nanoseconds too early. Was not able to get her full fingertips on the ball and come down with it. Savannah Luna with it, getting it to Tart. Great cut by Darling. Saints running a wheel action right now. Tart's going to get it to Van Tomey, who is going to get it to Luna. Luna thought about the three, went against it. Now Tart with it, eight seconds Great on the shot clock. Great cut by Van Tomey. And, yes, finds the cutting Van Tomey, who will draw the shooting foul. And so she will go to the line for two. Foul is on number three, Randy Fitzgerald, her second of the contest. <laughs> As Van Tomey goes. Hopefully none of y'all were wearing earbuds there. And my mic scraped against the wall that is uh, right next to me. What are you doing? <laughs> what? 
I'm moving, I'm moving stuff. Um, Van Tomey goes one for two from the free throw line, and so it will be the Crusaders' ball. I kid, I kid. I was not mad at him. <laughs> Nakano uh, with it, getting it to Lanko. Yanko back to Nakano, who gets it to McKenzie. Oh, get that Kent, out. Bam. Who gets rejected in the paint and will be a backcourt violation. No, Great I, rejection by Rhea Brady. Good job, Rhea. She's being very dominant this entire game. And for those of you, I do love Caleb. I was not <laughs> mad at him. Being overly aggressive. Playful place. Uh, Saints inbound the ball. All right. As Rachel Darling has it, finds the cutting. Harmony Tart is going to drive, put it up, and hey! in. Harmony Tart with the bucket to cut the Crusaders' lead to 16 and a full time out by the Crusaders. Hey, 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 we are back All for right. some more basketball action. Coming out of the Crusaders' full timeout, it will be their ball as the uh, Yanko and Sakano sprint down the court to inbound the ball. Kano no, Kano, not Sakano, sorry. As Greer drives, puts the shot up, no good rebound by Brady. Rhea Brady. Uh, yeah, there's a substitution for the Crusaders. Kent coming out and Greer coming in. Uh, Saints still have the same uh, set of players as Rhea Brady finds Van Tomey. Sit down. What a pass and what a bucket for the Saints. But Crusaders in control. Full head of steam going. Kicks it to Yanko. Like I said, Van Tomey just needed to make that first one. Open that lid. As Greer misses a shot. Rebound by Fitzgerald who missed it. And then rebound by Greer, who draws the and one. I believe that's going to be on Darling coming in from behind. Red didn't necessarily need help there. And that is Darling's fourth foul. And just like that, she will be subbed out. And for the first time tonight, we are going to be seeing Atira Davis in for the Saints. And Greer does not complete the and one for the three point play. But rebound Brady by is there to clean it up. Or, or, uh, Ray Brady. Rebound. Savannah Luna with it. Is going to drive and kick it to Claire yeah. off her fingertips. That is unfortunate. Good pass. Good look. Just unfortunately, cannot get her hand on the ball. Kind of going to bring this ball up, and Crusaders are going to start with a four low offense. Typically see that on an inbounds. Mondi with the ball, getting it to Yanko, who is going to drive, get it to Greer, who thought about it, was going to step back three. It is no good. Rebound by Greer. Yanko with the fake is going to drive and uh, pass it, tipped by a couple of players, but finds the hands of McKenzie Mondi with nine seconds on the shot clock. Got to do something. She's going to drive in on Rhea Brady, and the Rhea wow. knocking the ball away. And it'll be Saints ball. Harmony Tart with it, just going to drive Euro. No good rebound by the Crusaders. And a foul is going to be called on Claire Van Tomey there. Her fourth foul. And Claire's going to get subbed out, and in for her is Macy Crutchfield. No. Sorry. I had to do it. Nah, nothing against players. I don't even know what just happened. But as I just lost the bet. Shoot another three-pointer, and that one goes. This is why we don't let people in the booth. As 
Savannah Luna getting it to Harmony Tart, who's going to drive. Kick it to Atira Davis, taking her first shot of the night. It's Boom! Good. Sky three coming to that like she never left. And now Nakano bringing it up for the Crusaders. Nakano going to drive in on Luna, and Luna is going to get called for a blocking foul. She's going to plead her case very quickly. Uh, just argue that it was off her foot. Not going to change the rest of it. And that, would be, that is going to be uh, Savannah's third foul. And a substitution for the Saints, Macy Wisnant coming in for Harmony Tart. And Mondi catches the inbound pass, guarded by Macy Wisnant, who knocks the pass away, and now she has the ball. Macy Wisnant making an instant impact on this game. And is going to get kicked to Macy Wisnant, who's going to fake the shot, drive. And a play like that, I would have loved to see the Saints go all the way to the rim, see if they can get something out of it. Doesn't have to be a layup, but just get to the rim and then kick it back out. Atira Davis's pass gets knocked away, but still has control of it, and she's going to kick it to Luna at the top of the key for three. No good. Rebound by Davis. And Davis is going to put another shot up. No good. Rebound by Macy Wisenand, who is going to draw the foul. Macy Wisenand getting subbed into the game, knocking away a pass, bring it up the court, and then ultimately she will go to the line for two. Instant impact. She shook her head. She knew that was not it. Wasn't going to go in. She's going to take her time a little bit more on this one. And that one is up and in as she goes one for two from the line. Good shot by Wisenhan. Making up for her sister's loss. Crusaders with the ball. Greer has it. Tries to kick it down to the paint to Yanko, who still uh, gets it after bouncing off a couple of Saints' hands. Good job by Crutchfield, though. And he, oh, my Another goodness. block by Rhea Brady. Access D9. And Savannah Luna on the other end is going to drive, draw the foul. It will be a shooting foul, so she will go to the line for two. Good job drawing the foul there. That's a tough call to make if you're a ref. She was pretty far out from the basket, kind of just threw it up, but still foul nonetheless. And that foul is going to be on Nakano for the Crusaders, her second, and a couple substitutions. Greer coming out, McKenzie Kent coming in, Luna hits the first, and a substitution for the Saints, Makaria Hines coming in for Macy Wisenand. And Luna goes two for two from the free throw line to cut the Crusaders lead just to 13 as Nakano brings it up for the Crusaders. And she tries to zip it into the paint. It's intercepted by Macy Crutchfield. Crutchfield, just the past few possessions on defense, just reading the defense. Ray Brady now with it is going to a hard pass to the, the Tier Davis in the corner, but uh, luckily for the Saints, it went off the hands of Nakano. That yeah, looked good. Look real good, just a little bit too much behind it. Rhea Brady is going to drive into the paint. <laughs> nice pass to Macy Crutchfield, mm. and the shot is not going to be good, and rebound goes to Leah Yanko, and she is off to the races. But she's going to slow it down and give it to Nakano. Thought about giving it to the cutting Kent. Difficult pass to make that over, man. Almost had to be a handoff. And now Kent with it. Getting it to Fitzgerald, who's going to drive in on Atira Davis, who is, I believe that is ultimately going to be on, yep, on Atira Davis, as Fitzgerald will go to the line to shoot two. May have not been a foul, may not have been a hard foul, but with that swing of the arm, refs are definitely going to call that, trying to bat the ball away. More substitutions uh, for the Saints. Harmony Tart coming in for Rhea Brady. And for the Crusaders, Greer coming in for Yanko. First free throw, no good by Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald goes 0 for 2 from the line, and the ball off the hands of Kent. Finds the rebound to Harmony Tart. 
Let's hear it. Davis right into steps it. into a deep three. No good. Rebound by the Crusaders. Tart just being a ball hawk right now. As Nakano, long pass over to Mondi. And she is going to drive, loses it, but gets it back. Finds Fitzgerald, who again is going to get fouled. That was a good job by Mondi, able to get down into the paint, dribble around a couple Saints, and keep possession of the ball. Find Fitzgerald. And the foul is going to be on Harmony Tart, her first of the contest, as Fitzgerald goes to the line for two. Nails the first. Two minutes left to go in this third quarter while it is a 14-point game, potentially a 15-point game. The Saints are looking good. They're not letting it get too far out of hand. They can easily hit a couple big shots, come right back into this, make it a competitive ball game. Fitzgerald goes two for two from the line. And Makari Hines will be running point for this possession for the Saints. She's going to drive, kick it to Crutchfield. That was a great job by Hines, getting her defender in the air, opening up that corner pass. Now Luna with the ball in hand to Tart. Kari Hines, 10 seconds on the shot clock, have to make something happen. Hines is going to drive, get it to Wh or Crutchfield, who is going to miss, but ultimately it will be the Saints' ball. It was rebounded by the Crusaders, but Atir Davis came in and knocked the ball away, um, and it went off the hands of the Crusaders. Yeah, that was just a good effort by Atira Davis doing everything she can to make sure her team keeps possession. And a substitution for the Crusaders. Mondi coming out and Yanko coming back in after the short break. And Luna will inbound it for the Saints. Gets it to Hines. Hines faked the three and pulls up the mid-range. It's oh, cash. Sure. Oh. Nakano finds the cutting Yanko who's going to get it down to Kent as Greer steps into a three, and that is good. And there's one thing the Crusaders do good, and that is passing the ball. They find their open passes. They make sure they're crisp, strong, get to their spots. Saints Luna with the ball. Trying to run something as Luna will just pop a three. No good. Rebound finds Tart. And Tart will put it back up and rims out. Rebounded by Nakano. Glass, glass, glass. You want to use that glass on those possessions. Nakano calling out a play. And she is going to drive on Luna, but too strong off the glass. And it's going to be uh, fumbled around, but it's ultimately going to go off of Nakano there. Not sure if that play was designed for Nakano just to drive in or she just saw the opening, but made the right choice going straight to the rim. With 34 seconds left in this third quarter, Saints still trail by 16. Need to make something happen. Luna will pass it to Crutchfield. And Crutchfield, the pass goes to uh, the Crusaders, but it is Fitzgerald crawling out of bounds. And she landed on uh, the men's Saints' uh, own Andre Bell. Sam down there giving, giving props a clap. But Saints inbounding it. Makaria Hines with it. Makari Hines is going to drive, kick it to Crutchfield. Fitzgerald just hounding. As Makari Hines swings around for the three-pointer in the corner, no good. But uh, no rebound either as Atir Davis came in and just knocked the ball loose and it went out of bounds. Eight seconds left in this game. Saints are going to play a little bit of pressure defense here. Don't want any long shots. But Nakano is going to nice drive, scoop up, no good at the buzzer. Uh, so going into the fourth quarter, the Saints are trailing by 16 points. Uh, foul count, um, well, in that quarter was at least five to four. I don't know why I brought that up. Can't really see if it's more than that. So <laughs> Yeah, it's going to go away. At the, <laughs> yeah, it's going away. <laughs> Saints are just going to have to be weary in this fourth quarter. They have a lot of players and a lot of foul trouble. We're probably going to see Rachel Darling come back in. Probably going to see Claire Van Tome come back in. See what the Saints can put together for this final 10 minutes.
All right, coming out of the third quarter break, again, the Saints trailing by 16, but it will be Saints ball. Let's see what the Saints can get going in this last 10 minutes of action. Um, on huh? the floor, a substitution for... Great job by Nakano. Just ripping it, tipping it out, fine hands. Very quick score for the Crusaders here. Atira Davis has the ball for the Saints. Is going to dribble move, drive pass, uh, drive into Leah Yanko, but no good. Rebound by Davis, and is going to be a jump ball call. And so that means it will be Crusaders ball. <laughs> Two unfortunate possessions there for the Saints. Don't lose it quickly. That was a good, good drive, good rebound by Davis. Just unfortunate that led to a jump ball. Nakano having the ball for the Crusaders. Gets it to Greer. As Yanko will pull the three, and it is Perhaps. good. Five quick points for the Crusaders to open this fourth quarter of action as Atira Davis controls it for the Saints. That was a great dribble handoff there between Luna and Davis. You want to see Davis drive in, though, off that. Come across the corner, head down. As Davis shoots the corner three, is no good as Nakano finds the open Fitzgerald for the wide open layup. That is textbook transition offense. Now Macaria Hines has the ball for the Saints. Gets it to Davis in the corner. Davis going to fire it into Harmony Tart, who's going to drive, kick it to Brady, and Brady kicks it back out to Davis, whose shot is up and good. Yeah. Three-pointer for Atira Davis. And you can just never tell with Davis. It goes so high, and you don't know if it's going in until it goes in, but she has been hitting them tonight. And now Yanko down on the other end, pulls her three, no good. Rebound, finds hands of Greer for the Crusaders, who puts it up and in. There's a quick dribble around, turn around, post hook. Now Makaria Hines has it for the Saints, and uh, Coach Z gonna take a timeout. You almost wanna see Hines kinda run up the court there if we're gonna take a timeout. Get up there fast, not waste any more time so she can get that timeout off. And it's going to be a full timeout for the Saints. Coming out of the Saints timeout uh, early on, just two minutes into this fourth quarter, the uh, Crusaders have been on fire. Uh, quick buckets on the offense and great defense, and it'll be Saints ball. Makari Hines with it. See Claire Van Tommy back in the lineup for the Saints. Saints are going to run with two post players, which should, they're in a possession, looks like high low offense. If you can get it into one, the other one will drive, the other one will kick. As Van Tommy. Is going to pop the midi, no good, but rebound finds Makaria Hines. Saints need to get some offense. We're only got 12 seconds on the clock. Back to Hines. Ray just kind of controlling the offense there. And Guiding. a fake pass, great. Two great passes, both from Hines and Brady, to find Van Tomey for the and bucket. That is why Brady was running the offense. Cullen, come over for the screen. Dish pass, dish pass. Now Fitzgerald has it for the Crusaders, going to drive in, kicks it to Nakano, who's going to drive in, uses the bank, and it is good for the Crusaders. Luna going to go ahead and give it to Hines. Hines is going to continue to run this offense. Claire calling a play in the corner, going to take all the height out of the post for the Saints. And the, ooh, great cut by Van Tomey and a uh, 
try, almost great, a great idea, uh, but the pass goes off the hands of Leah Yanko. And it'll be Saints ball. No one's going for the Saints. They got a couple seconds. Just throw it in. You got to throw it in. And they find uh, Rhea Brady, who's throws it uh, out of bounds, out of reach of Van Tomey. Great job by Rhea saying, hey, that's on me. I'll get that pass to you better next time. Now Nakano bringing it up slowly for the Crusaders. Luna and Nakano up there, or not Nakano, Nakano. As Yanko's three is up and no good rebounded by Brady. I apologize for that. Didn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Hines being guarded by Mondi, finds the corner of Luna. Hand off back to Makari, who's going to drive, pull up mid-range, rolls off the rim, no good rebounded by Yanko. And Yanko is just going to drive wide open to the basket, and uh, the bucket is good. Van Tommy put in a difficult position there, kind of trailing behind, had to go ahead and peel off, not ready to get that final foul so early in this fourth quarter. Savannah Luna is going to take a three. Is no good rebounded by Mackenzie Mondi, who is down on the other end, and shot is up and good for her. Luna made not much of an effort there to get over, slide over, and try and stop that defensive position. But, again, Saints are just in tough foul position. Lots of trouble for them. Can't really waste fouls at this point in the game. And 30-second timeout. All right, out of the Saints 30-second timeout. In for the Saints, Macy Wizen and Harmony Tart, Rachel Darling, Macy Crutchfield, and uh, Claire Van Tomey. And coming back in the game for the Crusaders is number 12, Allie Farrell, as Harmony Tart is going to drive and get the left-handed lay to go. Good job on Tart. She gets that multiple times a game, open drives or tough drives, but she's good at it getting to the paint. Mondi getting it to Fitzgerald. He's going to make a move and drive in on the Saints. Short. Left it short. And Rachel Darling and Van Tomey trying to decide who wants the rebound. But ultimately, uh, it was Rachel Darling who gets the ball to Macy Wisenan. He's going to put it into Harmony Tart. Probably going to have her be the main ball handler with this lineup in as Tart is going to split the defense drive. Shot is up and in for Good Tart. Here, drop. And we're going to get a full timeout after two quick buckets for the Saints. Timeouts by the Crusaders. All right, coming out of the Crusader timeout um, it is going to be. We're going to keep the same lineup for the Saints. And it's going to be the uh, Crusaders ball. Sorry about that. The rest were talking. I was trying to see if, what they were saying, but they were just telling the Crusaders to get down there to get the ball. Saints in. playing uh, man to man defense. 
Lex or Macy was in hand, just dogging her defender. We are being guarded by Van Tomey. Is going to drive and dr gets called Travel. for a travel. Macy Wisnan going to bring the ball up for the Saints. How many dart look like she's about to run right through her? <laughs> uh, Rachel Darling fighting for the ball is going to get a jump ball call, so we'll stay right here. That is not a fight I would want to pick with Rachel Darling. She, nice as she is in class, get aggressive. Good. <laughs> Macy Wisnan finds the Harmony Tart on the inbound. Tart looking for somewhere to go. She's going to drive, kick Good it out pass. to Darling. Who's going to drive, pull up shot, draws the foul. Foul's going to be on number one, Mackenzie Mondi, her second in the contest. And the first foul call of the fourth quarter. We're about six minutes in. So. Good clean basketball. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Good uh, quick basketball. Um, as Rachel Darling's first free throw is no good. And Rachel's goes 0 for 2 from the line, and the rebound goes to the Crusaders. So he's going to stay in this man to man. Leanko with the ball, guarded by Crutchfield. She is driving them off. Traffic. And she is going to drive Eurostep, and a blocking call is going to, I believe, foul. Rachel Darling out of the game. Yeah, looking for a charge call there. I wasn't. I didn't. Wasn't sure where her feet were. She might have been in the restricted zone. I thought it was a charge, but again, I wasn't not looking at her feet. Was not sure where she was at. So Rachel Darling's going to foul out of the game, and coming into for her is Savannah Luna. As Leah Yanko's first free throw is no good. Second is good. As Saints inbound it, Luna will bring it up. About everyone on the everyone on the Saints team touched that ball right there. Yep. Claire Van Tomey gave it to the ref. Macy Wisnand inbounded it to Tart, who gave it to Luna. And Tart down on the other Another end. Another one gets a roll. Layup is good for her. Saints trailed 21 with 3.36 left in this game. As Farrell uh, will kick it to Yanko, a hard pass. Yanko's going to give it to Mondi. He's going to uh, give it to Fitzgerald, give and go. Farrell, pump fake three, is going to fire it. Um, fire it, she did. The shot is going to sail out of bounds. Um, and substitution for the Crusaders. Uh, Nakano coming back in for Fitzgerald. Got to get your looks in. Yeah. As uh, Macy Crutchfield also comes out, and Atira Davis is in for her. Savannah Luna is going to drive, kick it to Van Tomey. He's going to pop the mid-range. Good Cash. for Van Tomey. I know Van Tomey can do that. She she does it a lot in practice. I see her. see how she moves during the open gym. She can shoot. I feel like she – I want to see her do it more. Crusaders with the ball. Yanko with it. Going to get the screen from Greer. Leaves her a little bit open for three. No good. Rebound. Goes to get the off Saints. There. And Macy Wisnan ripping the ball away from the defender as the tier Davis goes to work some post moves. But no good rebound by the Crusaders. McCaffrey, who? Get out of here. Yanko guarded by Davis. And Yanko is going to drive, and scoop lay is up and in for Leah. Yanko not affected too much at all by that defense. She's just been getting wherever she wants in the court tonight. Macy Wisnan has the ball, is going to drive in and kick it out to Tart. Tart's going to find uh, Van Tomey in Good the paint. Good left. Paint. Great left Up hand. and in. We're going to go the other way. Yanko with the ball. Going to again lead this Crusaders offense. She's going to walk it up. Spend as much clock as this we can. Possession started with 20 left on the clock. 
Monty to Farrell, Farrell over to Greer, who's gonna pop the three, no good, rebound by Luna. It's getting face guarded by Nakano. Woo! Good cut by Wizenhand. Tart getting it to Van Tomey, Van Tomey to Luna. So he's gotta get a look towards the glass. As Atira Davis gets it, loses it a little bit, but still has it. It's gonna find Wizenhand in the corner for three, is up and ooh, no good. Rebound Van Tomey, and Van Tomey's gonna go to work in the post. Nice. <laughs> good Lose up by and Van under. Tomey. Another finish with the left hand. Final minute left of this game. Mondi gonna just walk it up. Mondi's going to drive and don't get that out of here. Foul is gonna be called on Fuck that. Savannah Luna. Lisa, block hmm. that right back down on the old schnoz, <laughs> but she's gonna go ahead and draw the foul. Put up two free throws. Substitutions for the Saints: Raya Brady and Makari Hines coming in. Um, Harmony Tart and Macy Wisnant coming out. Only the fourth or third foul of the fourth quarter. Mondi's first free throw goes in. And second free throw is no good. Rebound to Van Tomey. So Macaria Hines is going to bring it up with 43 seconds left. Vanna Luna has it in the corner. Now Rhea Brady with it. Back to Hines. Hines guarded by Farrell and... We get a hand check. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. 27 seconds left in the game. Saints are going to go ahead and inbound this ball. I'm going to have to get one more shot up. Inbound goes to Van Telme. He's just going to hand it back to Luna. And Luna's going to find the cutting Van Tomey, who is going to try and do that up and under move, but is hounded, but finds Atira Davis in the corner, who's going to shoot the three up Boom. and in for Atira Davis. Davis, I believe that's her third three of the game, or in the half. As with eight seconds left, the uh, Crusaders are going to dribble the ball out. So the Saints will fall 78 to... 63 in this home contest. Um, we are also going to be covering the men's game, who's, which is right after this, against uh, University of Health Sciences Pharmacy. Saints played them away at their home court um, and lost to them earlier in the season. So looking to bounce back, a little bit of a revenge game for the Saints men's basketball team. Saints have one more game left of this first semester of basketball. They're going to be playing in about eight days, I believe. And then after that, take the break for Christmas, come back, and we are going to move into conference play. Saints will have a home game first against Ozark, I believe, and then they're going to be on the road for about a month playing all conference games, and then we're going to do about a month of home conference games to get ready for this final tournament. So as – Fun as it's been this first half, uh, next half or next semester is where games really start to matter. Yeah. Final final farewell. <laughs> this uh yeah this will be my final farewell for the girls. I'm still covering the men's game, but final home games for me. So bittersweet. Yeah. It's been real. Been fun. Been real fun. <laughs>